Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be doing this character, Mei Lin, from Turning Red. We're going to make it big in design space and work with a couple different things. So, uh, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed already, please do, I totally appreciate all the support. And okay, so this is the file that I'm using. It's, I got it on Etsy from Vector Tools, so you can also follow along, use the same one. All right, let's go into design space and get started. Okay, so a couple things with this character that is different than the usual princesses. If you look at this, it's 11 inches by 10 inches and not so much the dimensions, but more the proportions. It is almost equally wide as it is tall, which makes for a difficult, um, a difficult situation because <laughs> normally what happens is we have a very uh, tall but thin slender princess so that gives us uh, the trick of you know rotating things and using the diagonal when something is a square or a circle it's going to be more difficult because they're of equal size so when we make it big it's big in both directions so we're going to do our best though all right, um, I, some of the main problems that I see here is uh, really, I think it's gonna be this half of the face. If we make it big, it's kind of long and wide. Um, that's gonna be difficult and it's in a different difficult color. I don't know if we can really mask that. So as I'm looking at this, what I think we can do is maybe make a deliberate cut and kind of cut out this part right here so like the cheek is a separate piece like the body is from the face so it would be you know like forehead cheek neck area i think that will help us all right so um the other thing that i want to try out on this one is because it's you know it's half half animal half girl I think it would be really cool to do all the pieces here in that flock material. So I want to use a double, a double sided, uh, the double sided adhesive uh, from Pink and Bane, and also use their flock over in this section right here. So we're experimenting. So I don't know how the slicing is going to work, which is why instead of just slicing it and having two pieces and kind of covering it up with the flock. I think that line in the adhesive is going to cause a line, but I will test that when we go to the um, the uh, the putting it together, the assembly portion of this video. Um, but just prepping for it, I think the deliberate cut right here would be best, which is always a good thing to learn too. So we always need practice with that. Um, all right, so let's make this not quite as big as we usually do. Let's go for 20 inches this time. It's still off the mat, but it will still give us a chance to learn um, and get comfortable with using that double-sided adhesive with the flock because I've only done it in small pieces with Bruno, uh, you know, with his sandals and with the rats, but to make it more a bigger part of the character, let's see how we do. All right, so 20 inches is what we've got. Let's um, make this a little bit smaller so that we can, we don't have to scroll. All right, let's start breaking this, the pieces apart. So we're gonna ungroup and let's see what we have here. We've got the hair. The hair technically uh, can cut all on one sheet of paper, right? On um, 11, on 12 by 12 cardstock. Um, I would, let's zoom in for a second. Let's see what we have here. So her hair, this piece right here is one, two, three, four, four pieces. I don't really like that. I wanna make it one piece. So let's, um, let's start working with that. And then here, same thing, this piece and this is two pieces. I kinda wanna make this one piece, so let's connect them. All right, so the what I'm talking about is, you know, the, her hair, like this bottom part, this bottom part is all connected. That's beautiful, it's easy to, to handle. This piece is by itself, so like onesies here and there are okay, but like this, I would wanna combine 
this I want to combine and this I want to combine. And the reason is I don't want to have 50 pieces that I need to keep track of and where I don't think it's going to change the character or the image. So uh, let's go to shapes and let's bring in a square and we're going to unlock it and make it really thin. Okay. And the reason is because we're going to put it right here all the way a little bit more to the edge. That looks good. And I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger so we can see. So you see, this is what it looks like. I'm going to duplicate this just so that we can do a comparison afterwards. Okay. So here at this, we're going to weld. So you see how it looks. I think it looks good. Uh, there's no way that you can tell me that, oh my gosh, I ruined the piece. I know that's an exaggeration. I ruined the piece because I went from four pieces to one right here. I think that's a good call. Let's go and do the same thing over here with these two. So I'm gonna, again, grab a square, unlock it, and uh, make it teeny tiny. And turn it this way. Okay, so that that becomes one piece this I would like to make one piece as well so let's see what we can oops not images shapes um, let's see oh I think let's see what that piece looks like okay uh, let's bring this over to where we were working with the hair I don't know why I got this piece oh because it's curved okay <laughs> Like, wait a minute, what did I just do right here? Um, all right, so I am gonna make this much, 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 much smaller. Okay. I almost feel like, let's zoom in a little bit more. I kind of want it like like that, but okay, that's not gonna work. Let's make this. Let's unlock this. And let's see if we can do something like that. I don't like the way this looks. You know what? I don't like that shape. Um. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Let's let's weld those two pieces right there. So we went, see that looks fine. We went from have we saved five pieces, six pieces. So we went from six, oh yeah, four pieces. <laughs> we went from six pieces to two pieces. I am okay with that. All right, so the hair and the look at the difference. It looks good. The only thing is, oh, you know what? Maybe we'll connect it right here. That makes more sense. Okay, I'm I'm going back. Uh, let's see. So I do want that shape. Let's make this much smaller. And let's bring this over here. And let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing. I'm gonna unlock it and maybe do something like I think I need to make it thinner. Almost there. Okay. That's gonna be a little bit of a bomb, but let's see what that looks like. I'm okay with that. <laughs> that saves me a piece. It's all connected. Let me put it back on her. I honestly don't even think you're going to notice. Okay, we're going to put this back on, okay? Yeah. 
wouldn't notice that. And we went from, so we went from five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces to three pieces. I'll take that any day. Okay, so hair is good. Hair is gonna cut on one piece of cardstock. Let's see, this, we can always separate the barrettes so that we could squish them to together to make it more efficient. And by that, I would just duplicate this and then go to contour and hide one. So on that one is by itself. On this one, let's hide this. We've got two matching barrettes that we can squish together. Let's look at the glasses. The glasses are, let me see what that looks like. I think we connect the glasses. It's in four pieces, I think we can make it one. So let's do this. Let's duplicate this, okay? And I'm going to contour and let's hide all. I want this little piece right here. Which piece is that? Okay, let's zoom in so I can see better. So we can see better, all right, let's see. So I kind of want to keep the shape, right? So I just duplicated it so that all that now connects, okay? So I'm gonna do that, oops. Hold on, let's grab this and the glasses. How come it won't let me weld? And I also want, I want to contour and I want what did I just do <laughs> I want to duplicate that what happened here does that look clunky Let's contour. I picked the wrong piece. I want that piece. I don't want this piece. Okay, so that I'm going to connect it to this. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to rotate this just a little bit. There. This piece, I'm going to move over here. I don't want that piece. I actually want this piece. Okay, and I'm going to make it just all connect okay so i got this i'm gonna hit the shift key this and my glasses and i'm gonna weld so now it becomes one piece ah no i need one more piece i'm gonna go and grab a little circle So my glasses are one piece. This is just gonna help because we've got so many pieces, okay? So, um, and it's not just for this one, but like just a good learning lesson for other, other projects when you go. For me, like, I don't wanna spend that extra two hours <laughs> because what happens is like, this was in one, two, three, four pieces, right? What will inevitably happen is one little piece because it's so small, doesn't cut well, I have to recut it. Then I gotta keep all four pieces together to put down. I'm gonna lose a piece somewhere in there and then I'm gonna recut it again. So all these little pieces start adding up. So trust me when I say it's worth it to do that. Okay, let's look at her face. So her face uh, all fits on one piece of cardstock. What I could do instead is, let's make this smaller so I can show you. So the face is in a couple pieces, but they're all smushed together, right? But this piece probably can go up here. So what I'll do is I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna to go to contour. And on this one, I'm going to hide the neck. Okay. So there I have this one piece right here. Okay, this piece I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna hide everything. And where's my neck? Is this my neck? No, 
that's the top part. What am I looking for? Is this the neck? No, good lord. Hold on. This is the piece I want. I don't want this piece. So when I go to cut this, I can put this in here just to save some space. And you can reuse the rest of the piece of paper. All right, let's see. Same thing with this. You could, I mean, this little piece just makes it wider. I would do, let's, I'm gonna do it in three pieces. I'm gonna separate all three, okay? So in this one, I'm gonna hide all. It's gonna give me just this, okay? Then, so right now this is taking up 6.3 by three inches, okay? So remember that. Seven by three, let's say. Um, I don't want that, I don't want this. Seven by three, and we're gonna make this way more efficient when we go to cut this. Okay, then contour. I just need that little piece. So seven by three becomes four by three. So you see like you can, if, but if they're all grouped together, you're gonna ruin your cardstock. So it's easier to save scraps or even use scraps in this case. Okay, let's look at this. Now the teeth, I'm so tempted to connect all those pieces right there and down here. So let's look at that in a second. Let's see, the red is all good, yep. This is all good too because they're four separate pieces, but on this one I would do the same thing. Let's go to and do that. All right, so I'm gonna hide all. I want that little piece though. So this is by itself, right? This little guy can fit in here, for instance, so. I'm just isolating each piece, right? So this is by itself now, instead of moving as one, okay? Then we just have that piece left. So let's go to contour and hide all. I want this piece, I don't want this piece. And now they're all separated. So I can probably cut all of this And, you know have better space okay because it was much bigger than I think originally so um, all right this we can do and I'll show you slicing so let's bring in a just a square and oops I want to separate the eyes so I'm gonna grab these two. Oh, hold on okay and I'm gonna slice that so I'm gonna slice it so that the eyes become separated. This I don't need, right? But see, now I can cut this closer. It's easier to use the scraps. Okay, this I'm gonna get rid of. Here's the ear. I mean, I think the whole turning red side is gonna be so cute fuzzy, and especially with the comparison to her regular side, um, it'll be a great contrast. So I really wanna do that. Here's this cute little nose. All right, so we've got our background and we've got this piece left. Okay, so let's look at this for a second. I want to come in and create that little wedge right there to separate the two pieces. So let's look at our shapes and I'm gonna use this one. Okay, let's move this to a clean space. We need a lot of good space for this so that you can see it. This is the first time that I'm doing using this, okay? So you see, I kind of want to do that. Um, I'm gonna unlock it. I feel like that's the right arch, but I'm gonna move this out a little bit and see. 
Okay, so I think this is good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna duplicate this and I am, no, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do an offset and do minus 0.15. Let's see what that looks like. Is that what I want? Maybe. I'm gonna slice these two and see if I get a thinner piece that I want. I'm gonna need even thinner than that. Because look how thin these lines are. So, Let's duplicate it and here, oh, hold on. <laughs> I know, I'm working really hard for this. Let's see, um, let's zoom in and putting it really close to each other, okay? We're gonna slice it and let's see what we have. So this line, so we're getting there. Let me move this line up so we can see. Okay, so that line is about right. Okay, so we're gonna do it like, I want this to be even thinner. I'm gonna duplicate it so I don't ruin that one. And let's unlock this and make it even thinner. All right, you ready? I'm gonna grab these two things and I'm gonna slice. I think it looks good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, all right. So it looks like he deliberately has a cut right there, right? Wait, where is this piece like this? I think I like it. Okay, let's see if that helped us. <laughs> let's get rid of all of this. We're going to break this up into three pieces, right? So let's get our three images out. Let's work with the first one, contour. We're going to get rid of this. Actually, let's hide all. I want this, 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 and this. I don't want this. Okay, yes, this piece is seven and a half by six and a half. We can cut that. Let's do this. Hide all, oops. I want this piece and this piece. I don't want this piece. This, what did I just do? Hold on, contour. I don't want this piece and I don't want this piece. There we go. Okay, so this piece we can also cut. And then we have the bottom piece, contour. Let's see. We need all these little pieces though. Nine by five, perfect. All right, now we have just this background. Okay, so I have an SVG file called the grid of squares. Let's go into images and And what's nice about having it as an SVG file is that you don't have to remake it each time you do it. So let's make this smaller for a second. What happened here? Where's my grid? What is going on here? Oh, the position. Me grab. Um, all right, so while I'm, oh, here, I'm gonna move. I don't know what happened. I was working on this not too long ago. Hold on, let's delete that for a second. Um, what is nice is when it's working. So I don't know what happened. I'm trying to delete it. Oh, it came in twice. I hope that's okay. 
hope it's not frozen. But um, you can either subscribe and get the grid of for free, which would pretty much, um, you know, percent of your needs, 99%. <laughs> And I don't know what's going on with my design space. This is a horrible time to <laughs> um, But I'm going to show you how to recreate it. You can always go to one of my older videos where I show you how to make the grid. So I don't know what I did right now. So I'm trying to delete it to get back to being it. Uh, so you can always go to my website, theuselesscrafter.com. The whole point of the grid of squares is that um, when we make an off the map project, we're making something bigger. It's off the map, right? So we're basically um, turning it into a puzzle so that we can slice it up, so that we can piece it back together because it's gonna be more than the one map that you can use and more than the 12 by 12 cardstock, for instance. So, um, so what you wanna do is, I'm gonna, Let's see if this works this time. Okay, here we go. So um, let's make this smaller and go back to our 25%, okay? What's nice is, you know, with off, with off the mat, you have, I don't know, let's say five really good tricks to make things seamless. So, and each trick by itself may not help you get there, but every little component that we can try to incorporate to make it seamless as a whole it will be flawless or very close to flawless and look amazing so that's how you get like for instance that's me over there at i want to say four feet so you know it you, i don't have paper that's four feet and i i mean i guess we could buy it but you know i don't know how you would cut it um but the point is um we're incorporating all these tricks to make it as flawless as possible. Okay, so the trick to um, <laughs> to using the grid of squares, once you upload it, what you want to do is, my recommendation is to always put the grid of squares on whole numbers. So this is 1.3 and 1.4 right now. I'm going to change it to 2 and 3, just so that we're not at 2, 2 and you don't know where we are. Basically what that means is the x coordinate is the one running across. It's saying go over 2 units, one, oh, these are four. So go over two units, one, two, go down three units, and here's the beginning of it, okay? Then you're going to arrange and send to the back. Now we've got this little guy up here. We wanna make sure that we put him where it makes sense. For instance, what you don't wanna do is something like this, because when you slice this, this little tip right here is going to be its own piece. We want big pieces. Granted, we need it to slice it up into like little puzzle pieces, but we wanna maximize each puzzle piece to be as big as possible. Another thing that you wouldn't want is something like this. The whiskers would be cut off and hanging by itself and you'd need to tape it back together. So let's see what would be the most perfect piece. Would be something like this. So all the whiskers stay intact nothing gets cut off by itself i think that looks really really good so let's ungroup this and start slicing it we're going to slice one square at a time with the image and that didn't let me slice why okay there must be something underneath here so let's do this um oh what is that where did that come from okay so hold on let's undo this for a second um let's grab i'm gonna hit the shift key and grab our squares okay we're gonna move it what is going on over here there is nothing underneath okay so i want Okay, there. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm basically slicing one square and the image at a time. And hold on, this shifted. Do you see how I can tell? It's just slightly off. That means this one shifted. So, 
This is why it's important. I'm gonna un hold on. This is all messed up right now. <laughs> this is why, oh my gosh, you guys are all looking at me like you're crazy. Okay, let me move this over. Okay. Let me move this over there. Okay, there was just so much, like so many pieces going on, which is why it wasn't working. Okay, I still want this on a whole number because I want to be able to undo my mistakes if I have any mistakes, okay? So here's the four. I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna slice. I'm basically slicing the background into four pieces. And then when I go back, I'm gonna piece. Okay, design space, that's glitchy. That should not have happened. So just undo it. Let's slice this side. This is all like really good workarounds, practices. Okay, so it all worked, right? So here's my four pieces. Now, the other thing about this background is these whiskers, they're teeny tiny. We're not gonna be able to put foam behind it to support it because it's so thin. So what I would recommend is I would cut this maybe two times or three times so that I can layer it so that the whiskers has layers um, I normally would put it on glitter cardstock so glitter cardstock is thicker but here's the reason why I don't want to do glitter cardstock because I know I'm going to be using double-sided adhesive for the flock and that doesn't it's hard to tape things down on top of glitter cardstock so if you really want to do glitter cardstock this is actually this is what I would do okay I would duplicate this okay on this one though Let's change the color to gray, and then I would flip it. Oops, let me undo it. Let me flip it the other way so that it makes more sense. Okay, so this is now the mirror image. I would do this in glitter, glitter cardstock, because when then the back is gonna show the glitter side, and it's gonna be pretty, it's gonna be thick, this I'm going to do in regular cardstock so that it sits on top of this and I'll give you a sturdier background. All right, I hope, <laughs> I hope that was helpful and that I didn't lose you. That was craziness, but it, th that's the kind of stuff that happens in design space. And so I'm glad it happens. It puts me in a pickle to try to explain myself out of it. But these are things that are going to happen to you. All right, so let's get rid of that. I don't know where that little dot came from. Um, let's go to the it make it like screen. Your name or password has changed. Your Alexa, name stop. Go to the Alexa app. <laughs> it's quite the day. All right, I'm cutting on my Cricut Maker 3, which is why you get this screen. I'm going to click on the mat. I always use my 12 by 24 mat, and let's continue. Okay, so here are my glasses. I want to talk about the fuzziness. The double adhesive that we're gonna use with the flock, it's from Pink and Main. I've used it for Bruno. You don't have to do it. If you don't do it, I would cut this maybe in a fun glitter cardstock in orange. That would look really cute, reddish orange. Um, but if you're gonna follow along and try to do it with the flock and the double-sided adhesive paper, this is what I would recommend. I would cut all the pieces that you're gonna put that on onto cardstock, so maybe just plain orange cardstock for this piece. Then I would go and cut this with the adhesive, the double-sided adhesive paper. That way I can put my adhesive onto cardstock that fits that piece. It's a lot easier to manage and I will talk about it again when we um, do the assembly portion of this tutorial. All right, I hope that was helpful. I will see you guys in a little bit. Thank you so much for watching.